Good morning. This is what it's like camping in the woods. At least the stash is looking good. I think I said, didn't I say if I caught a 50, I was going to shave it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you said that. Yeah. Something, something like that. What happened to your glasses? They shattered. Let's look at them. You idiot. He's pissed. I am pissed. Because they don't even have a warranty policy anymore and you gotta buy a whole new pair before it was 60 bucks they'll really? send you all. they don't have a warranty policy anymore? I, that's, I'm pretty sure they got rid of it which is bull <laughs> Coast said that's bull <laughs> probably won't buy another one of these sunglasses because these are the fifth ones I've bought <sighs> Doubled up. This feels better. This is definitely neater. Mine's definitely neater. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's an eater. There we go. First walleye of the day. On an actual Guggen Baits drag and drop. I took off the live bait because we didn't have much left and ended up. That is a nice, you know, 14, 15 inch walleye. You're allowed to keep. Two walleyes, or I said one. One per, person. one per person, yeah. If you have a conservation, you're allowed to keep one walleye per person, and we just pull up to a spot. Walleye number one. Yes. Yes, big. Keeper? Yeah, look at this. A little spot change. Oh, yeah, boys. Heck yeah. We just need one more. Kel, you're a man of few and many words on this channel so far. Yeah, what do you think of this walleye? I think this walleye is going to be very delicious. That's about all I can say about that. You've been just I'm pretty saying hungry. how hungry I'm pretty are hungry. you all morning that we have to go in and cook your breakfast. Now. All right, throw them in the box. We'll wait, we'll wait. Okay. Well, we've caught two walleyes. We're going to try and catch one more really quick so we each have our own walleye. And then uh, we'll get to get into the camp. You got one? Come on. Come on. Good one. Good one? Good one? Yeah. Yeah. We've been catching a lot, a lot of small fish, so... Uh, we're gonna let that one go and try and catch one, you know. Uh, my my favorite size eating fish on Lake of the Woods is probably between 14 and 18 inches long. Um, they're still small and it doesn't really affect the uh, the big fish in here. The breeder fish, so. A little drag and drop caught the first one and a little jig in the middle caught the second one. Let's get it! Oh my gosh, oh, get that in, get that in, get that in, get that in, yes, yes. Oh. so do we want to go Dude, now, oh, yeah, the size of this perch compared to the walleye, this oh perch is bigger than the walleye, I love a good perch, that's awesome, for breakfast, I know it's a little bit windy out here guys, but uh, for a breakfast time, oh Jesus, hey, nice jumbo perch baby, yes, Hell yes, we ended up getting two nice walleyes and then one jumbo perch. Um, I handed the rod off the dice there because we don't know like, so we each you keep one walleye, does that mean he has to reel it in? We didn't know what that meant, so uh, that's why I passed the rod over the dice. So Comment below if you guys know, like if you're in a group, does that mean your group can catch three or does each person have to catch three? We were just super confused by that. Um, but we're right by the camp right now. We're gonna have walleye and perch for, gosh, yes. Perch is such a good bonus. They taste so different than a walleye, in my opinion, and I'm excited for that. So we're gonna have perch, walleye. We have a couple sausage links left, as well as some eggs. Um, so breakfast of champions, fisherman's breakfast for sure. All right, guys, welcome back. We are officially on the shore now. We've got the walleye and the perch in this pan. Um, we're gonna have Cal. Cal's an expert at flying fish, so Cal's gonna do it because you guys don't want to see me do a butcher job. So we're gonna flay this probably right down by the water and then go from there. So let's do it. That's how we do it. Play knife from Walmart. What do you think, bud? It's pretty solid. I like it. 
So you're just flaying the flaying the fish and flaying the walleyes, getting the bones out, taking the skin off. Then we're gonna go. What are we? Are we gonna bread them? We're gonna throw them in some franks and bread them. Okay. Heck yeah. Then we're gonna cook them up and eat them for breakfast. I keep a gallon of franks red hot with me. Just gonna pour that in there. How's it going back there? Dice is cleaning up camp. We're about to get out of here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shake these fish. Was that Frank's red hot that got on me? No. It was just water. Okay. Shake those fish up right there. And then I'm going to cover this. This back in my box so I don't lose it. So now since those are breaded in the Franks, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this, kind of drip them off a little bit, and then place them right into there. What that does is just gets a little bit of the extra Frank red hot off of it and it allows the fish to kind of get coated perfectly. You just want to make sure you grab every filet in there. Then actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to get that extra Frank's Red Hot because if you stick that thing into that breading bag, you're just going to have a stick full of breading and that's not what you want. A little shake and bake. All right, so this burner obviously isn't on right here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I have a paper towel on a plate. Uh, this allows the fish to drain off because you don't want a lot of excess oil when frying these fish. And we're just gonna put one in there to begin with. Just a little nugget. Just to see what we're dealing with. Probably bring it up a little bit. Oh yeah, I hear that crackling. When you hear that crackling, that's the goodness. Oh geez, too hot, too hot, too hot, oil's too hot, oil is too hot. So last step, we've got our sausage on the side, we're just about to cook the eggs up, but last step to making this fish really pop is a little bit of lemon. A little bit of lemon, if you want some extras, it's right there. And then, as well as, what are you looking for? Something called salt dice. Right here, in my hand. Oh, look at you, you've got it. And a little bit. What is wrong with the salt mixer? Don't let it be smarter than you, they say. Don't let it be smarter than you. It's smarter than me. I think it's because it's wet. Okay. So your secret recipe, a little bit of salt on there is good, a little bit of lemon. And we're going to put this right off to the side. And now we've got our beautiful eggs here. Brought to you by Samuel's mother. Thank you so much. And uh, here we go. For eggs, it's really simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna turn on this. We have a lighter. Oh, li Jimmy's got a lighter in his hand. Let's look at that. There we go. That's lit. My hand is just so messed up from from those darn muskies. Nice amount of butter on there. Maybe a little bit more. There you go. The more butter, the merrier. Then you're gonna turn that on low. You're gonna take your spatula here. And you're just gonna move that around. Make sure your butter, make sure your pan is all nice and lubricated up there. One egg. Two eggs. Three eggs. Four eggs. How many you want? All of them. All of them? I don't know. At least, last, yesterday we did nine, and I thought... Oh, we did nine eggs yesterday? Yeah. Ten eggs. Hungry boys here this morning. Hungry Cal. Cal's hungry. Me named Cal. I'm hungry. So we're going to go scramble damble. Look at 
Look at that. Okay, boys. Let's dig in here. Yeah, let's get it. Get some plates? Yep, right in there. That right there is the breakfast of champions, a little sausage, a little fish. It's a great way to start your, your morning here in the North Woods. Dude, Frank's in a little, oh, that batter in the Frank's is so freaking good. Do you guys enjoy watching me eat? Cause I, I enjoy eating. But hopefully you guys enjoy this catch and cook. I'm gonna scarf down this food. We made eggs, we made some sausage, and we did catch some walleye and some perch this morning. So it's been a whole fun day out here. We are packing up camp. I'm not really sure what the next video will be out here. Um, we've had a couple more ideas and we might head actually more north after this trip. So keep on watching. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned to AP Bass and I really do appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on the next episode. What would you give it? What kind of stars? Give it a 7.8. 7.8. You want higher? 8.7? <laughs> Did you want a 10 out of 10? <laughs> it's like it's crappy, dude. It's like I just spent my whole arm, my hard work on that meal there. No, we don't need to redo anything. That's your actual reaction. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it has been a super fun time out here in the woods, hanging out with the boys. I think this is actually our last day. We haven't really decided yet. We're going to eat this meal and kind of reflect on what's happened the past couple days. If you guys have enjoyed the musky videos, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, this is AP Bassin, signing out.